Now, there's no way back. That's the message being reported today. As insiders insist Prince Harry will not be allowed a temporary royal role while the king undergoes cancer treatment. Despite Harry's brief return last week, Prince William is alleged to have told friends that he is so angered by his brother's attacks on the monarchy that there is no chance he'll be allowed back into the royal fold. Yeah, let's talk to royal correspondent uh, Michael Cole. Michael, good to see you, as always. Look, this can come as no real surprise. I mean, it might have been sort of touted out there as a possibility, but that was never going to happen, was it? You know, Stephen, there are few worse sights in this world than brothers fighting. And this is a particularly bitter dispute between these two royal brothers. I think there were always, in the words of Muhammad Ali in a different context, there were only ever two chances of reconciliation, and they were slim and none. And Prince Harry has said, and he said on this television interview, that I love my family. Well, he has shown, there he is in Whistler in Canada with his lovely wife, Meghan. Uh, he has not shown a great deal of love towards them uh, with some very cruel, uh, unkind and hurtful allegations against all the senior members of the royal family. And also in that interview, and I'm sure we all saw it, uh, he had ample opportunity to say some kind and compassionate words about his sister-in-law, Kate, Princess of Wales, who quite clearly has undergone some major surgery, abdominal surgery. Um, it's no minor matter what she's enduring at this moment. Uh, and he's never offered a single word uh, of comfort or consolation to her or concern. And if he wanted to uh, become reconciled with his brother, who we see with Kate in happier times there. And what a great job she does as Princess of Wales, somebody who didn't uh, grow up uh, expecting to be in that role, but has fulfilled it brilliantly. Uh, he could have said some words there. He spoke about the King's health briefly, uh, apparently without permission to do so, but he did. Uh, and he could have said something uh, kind uh, about Kate. Instead, there have been some egregious allegations against her, again, including the most toxic one of all, of racism, that she displayed racist attitudes to Meghan Markle uh, when she joined the royal family. Well, we all knew how, and we saw it, you know, crowds 20 deep in Windsor Great Park, uh, the two, the couple, the new couple being welcomed to this country and welcomed by the royal family. After all, the Prince of Wales, as he was at the time, uh, volunteered and wanted to walk uh, Meghan down the aisle at St George's Chapel, Windsor, and he did so. So what th this father could have done more uh, for his younger son, uh, it's hard to see. But you cannot see a way back. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise you two. Uh, if there's going to be any reconciliation, uh, Prince, that, that is in Canada on an earlier earlier trip when there were boys, when things were happier. Prince Harry's got to do a lot of fence mending and he's got to start with a lot of abject apologies because uh, the way they've behaved on TV and in their other interviews is unconscionable in, in royal terms. And I think, uh, Stephen, in family terms. And Michael, what, what, what do you so, um, make of Harry's suggestion that he will be coming to the UK as much as he can to see to see his family. I think that's what he suggested, which does indicate that there is some sort of reconciliation going on with Prince Charles, at least. King Charles, I apologise. But in today's papers, there are reports that he was blocked from having a heart to heart with King Charles. And actually, he wanted to go to Sandringham to spend a few days with him and wasn't allowed to. Well, I, I, I rather doubt that, Pat, because um, the point of the king being at Sandringham uh, on the estate, which is quite isolated in North Norfolk, is to be isolated. Because when you're having this intensive cancer treatment, what you've got to avoid at all costs is infection. And Prince Harry had flown at 37,000 feet in a pressurized cigar tube with 250 other people. Uh, for 11 hours, breathing the same air. <clears throat> and he came to see his father for 35, 45 minutes at Clarence House. I think the last thing in the world the king would have wanted was for him to have gone 
on to Sandringham. And anyway, he had to be back into a, in America because he was that, at that gala evening for the National Football League uh, in Las Vegas the next night, making speeches about rugby and, and contrasting it with, with American uh, gridiron football. So I don't think there was ever a possibility of him flying to Sandringham in the confined space of a helicopter with the king. And the, the king comes to London uh, for his treatment, and then he goes back, and that's a sensible course. And I expect this morning we shall see him uh, walking to uh, St Mary Magdalene Church uh, at Sandringham. I did notice, by the way, last uh, week, in that context, the photographers, and I've been up there many, many times, uh, were kept back, I think, at least a good 50 yards from the position they usually occupied. Uh, the reason for that, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they don't want too close contact with the king. And that's a sensible thing. Mm. Well, it is under the circumstances. Mm. Look, we've got to leave it there. Michael, good to see you. Thanks very much indeed.